competition day. The sun is coming up. It's about a quarter to seven. About to get into my mobility work just to make sure I'm warmed up for the first time before I get started and get to the gym. What's good, everyone? Mark is here again. And today I'm going to recap the meet that I just had on Saturday. Everything went pretty well. I'm very happy with my performance and the experience overall was fantastic. I'm looking forward to doing it again in November. Uh, I just have to register for that next event and I'm likely going to do that at another venue. This venue was great. It was close by. Thankfully, it was only 17 minutes away from my house because after all the preparation and packing I did to make sure I had everything in my gym bag ready to go, I forgot my wallet at home and you need identification to register and check in. They won't accept a photo ID on your phone because of course those could be manipulated with Photoshop or something like that. Thankfully, due to the proximity of being close to the gym, I was able to send my sweetheart home, drive back to the house here. She was literally walking back through the door with my wallet when they called me for weigh-in. So it all worked out well. That's the one thing I really learned from this whole experience. There was a lot of information and a lot to manage mentally going into a competition and throughout the entire competition. So let's break it down. Aside from the wallet experience, everything else went fairly smoothly, not 100%. One thing that I got wrong was, I was told by a fellow competitor that we had a five minute break between the flights of women and men. That wasn't true. Maybe that was the case where he had previously competed, but the way this venue was operating, they were moving from first flight to the second flight with no break in between. They were just keeping things rolling. I missed time my last warm up, which was 137.5 kilos. I literally re racked the bar when they were calling my name for my first attempt at squat. <laughs> Unbeknownst to me, they had called my name and were expecting me on the platform at that moment. Don't get it in, Marcus. You can't hear him. They're calling him. <laughs> Tell him he's got a hearing aid. <laughs> Do my opener within 60 Prayers. seconds of having done my last. Day. I use the TSA recommended warm-ups based on my whole attempt sheet. Specify you're using kilos. You even can specify whether or not you're going to warm up with competition collars, where it gives you the suggested warm-up weight with reps, and then it tells you which weight you're going to be putting on. So if you're like me and you use pounds instead of kilos at home, you're not going to know what the conversion is offhand. I can't tell you how many youngsters I saw struggling to go through the conversion and figure out what their next warm-up was going to be. They were looking things up online, they were asking questions, they were going back and forth. They were very, very confused. And thankfully, I had the TSA app, which tells you your next weight is 125 kilos. And you're going to use a red plate and a yellow plate, a two and a competition collar. And then after that, you're going to use two red plates and a white plate and a competition collar, whatever the case is. It tells you exactly the plate, so there's no math to do. There's no trying to figure out, okay, I know the math total. I don't know which plates total that number. So just use something as simple as straightforward as that and just make it a lot easier on yourself. Another very simple and effective solution is an app called Iron Plus. I found out about this app from a fellow competitor at the competition, a young man named Travis Napier, who happened to be a programmer by day, but he was competing in my class. He actually took first overall for men. He created this app for himself a number of years ago, but made the app available to everyone on the App Store for free. It's a RPE calculator. It's a warm-up application, it's a keto converter, and it does so with plate mapping. If you're using pounds at home, for example, you need to put three 45-pound plates for this next warm-up. If you're working with kilos, they might say for the next warm-up, you're putting two reds and a yellow plate on there, effectively achieving what the TSA app does, and it can be used on the fly. But let's get back to the competition itself. I didn't think about the whole re-racking thing until later on, and I was texting with Brandon who said, you know, it looks like maybe you re-racked too quickly. When I replayed the video, sure enough, that was it. Without that information, I made the mistake of thinking I had to repeat that opener 
at the same opening weight because I thought depth was the factor and I wanted to make sure I had the depth before moving on to a heavier weight. So that's exactly what I did. I took my second attempt at the opener weight and made that lift three white lights, but it did not allow me to progress the way I had planned originally, going for about 370 to 375. Instead, making the jump from the first successful attempt to my final attempt, that would have been too big a jump to go from one to the next. Now from that point on, I felt like I was in the groove, so what I did was I kind of took my second planned attempt and added a few kilos just so I can get in between my second and third attempts. Knowing if I was successful, I wouldn't hit a PR, but at least I would get a successful third attempt. The one other thing I wasn't managing properly was making sure that I went to the judging table and gave them my next lift. So I want to shout out three very important people. First and foremost, my sweetheart, Michelle, who had the daunting task of driving back home to grab my wallet since I forgot that. I really appreciate you. Secondly, I want to thank my man, Joe, who did the photography, filming all the video for the meet. I greatly appreciate it. Another individual I almost forgot to mention was Alex Can Lift on Instagram. Thank you for shooting some video and sending them to me. And last but not least, I want to thank my man, Brandon Campbell, basement Brandon, whose influence led me down this path and motivated me to compete in the first place despite my ripe old age of 54. I really appreciate everything he's done for me, all the advice, the coaching, the time he spent with me on Zoom calls, the time he spent texting me on the weekends, asking how training is going, asking me how the meet was going, reviewing video footage and so on. It was completely invaluable and I could never thank you enough. Thankfully, I went through two rounds of mobility work for the shoulder that day, completely paid off. I had zero pain in the shoulder or even the elbow. It did not play a factor. The other thing I did differently was I used a handoff person uh, on bench press because I want the every advantage I could get. I thought my shoulder might factor into it. If I had to do the lift off myself, that could tweak the shoulder and really ruin the day for me. But as you can see from the video, Unfortunately, I still failed my third attempt at 276 or 125 kilos because it simply didn't have the strength that day. Now lastly came the deadlift event and as you may recall from my prior training videos, that was the lift I felt the best about because it had been going entirely well all along and I knew it would be my strongest lift. Things were going well right from the beginning and I succeeded in all of my attempts, first and second and third. And I set a PR with my final attempt at 391 pounds or 177.5 kilograms. In between, Brandon and I were texting back and forth. He was asking how I was doing. I was leaning on him for some advice. I sent him a quick video doing my deadlifts and I said, what do you think? His recommendation was take what you have there. That's great advice. And I did exactly that and I hit a PR with that. However, it moved so well, I now know I could have hit 180 or even 182.5, but I have no regrets about playing it safe, sticking with 177.5, because as I said, it was still a PR for me, not just in the meet, but all time PR. I'm happy about the fact that it moves so well. Now I know mentally I can hit 400 or above. This gives me some momentum. It gives me the motivation to continue with my training and target a nice deadlift number for my following competition. And I'm excited by that. So all in all, I went seven for nine that day, feeling of course the first squat on the technicality and feeling the third bench from missing that lift. Thankfully, I had a decent day overall and I'm very happy with my PR deadlifts. Now keeping in theme with paying it forward for fellow content creators, I wanna highlight my man, Philip from Philip Baby Giant Barbell, who you might follow on Instagram. He also has a YouTube channel. He's scheduled to compete himself on April 29th, another home gym enthusiast who's gonna test his medal on the platform. So I'm looking forward to seeing what he does. He's projected to do a squat of about 470 pounds, a bench of about 365 pounds, and a deadlift at about 610 pounds for a total of over 1,400 pounds. I recommend checking him out on Instagram and YouTube and consider subscribing to his channel. So after the meet was over, I went back into Evolve AI to complete the meet including a meet day review and complete the training program overall. When you do the meet day review, it asks whether or not you were successful with your lifts and if not, why, if you were, why? And it asks you if it should update your one rep max as well. Like for example, with deadlifts, I did hit a PR. So I put, let's keep going and update my max for me. Once that's done, you click finish review and it asks you if you want to plan your next training cycle, which of course I did and it tells you a little bit more information about MEV, MRV, and you can select your next program, which for me will again be powerlifting. And for all of you who've been following, offering encouragement, advice, and just that pat on the back, I really appreciate you for following me in the series and supporting the channel. And as always, I'll catch you on the next video.